This is pretty awesome, man. Good morning. It's the uh, day after that big storm. Looks a lot better out there right now. Anyway, um, just gonna take the scooter down to the beach, and fill this up with hot water so we can have coffee down there. This is pretty awesome, man. It's pretty calm this morning. This place is pretty cool. I really can't wait to get in the water. Seeing these guys wait out there and fishing makes me kind of want to bring my gear down here and try it out. Uh, there are some critters out there that I need to be aware of and mindful of. That sea snake that I saw might be one of them, although I think those guys aren't likely to bite or anything like that. It's mostly stonefish, scorpionfish, lionfish, cone snail, a bunch of other things that i just not too aware of. That's a poisonous snake, even though I just, just touched it, <laughs> it felt safe. Uh, just saw him swimming in off these rocks and he came into that little tide pool right behind me. No idea where he's going. I know Emma plays down here all the time, so I'll have to show her that video just so she's aware. call it Nescafe instant coffee some of the stuff I've had in cafes have been really good down where I'm staying though there's really not too much uh, there's a Balinese coffee that I get or an Americano and they're uh, they're okay but this is nice because they're not open till 8 a.m. and right now it's about 7 15 and there you go these guys are definitely into the fishing though. It was kind of cool to sit and watch these guys catch these little fish. I don't know what they were, but they seemed pretty happy about them. And this guy looks like he was a keeper because this guy's obviously bringing them back to the beach. After my coffee, I decided to move up the beach and I discovered something that left me speechless. I've heard about places like this, but to see it with my own eyes for the first time was really difficult to comprehend. All of this stuff is free floating in the shallow waters, and to me it looks like it's been here for a while.
I wondered how it could be that no one seemed to be paying any attention to it. It's not like this place is devoid of people during the day. This is just a quiet time in the morning before it gets busy. And this is a beach that my daughter comes to play and look for seashells. To her five-year-old brain, this is normal, as though it's just part of the landscape. That's quite a thing to let soak into my heart as I walk along here trying to understand it all. That's quite something to see, all that. That's, uh, goes all the way up the beach. I do like a good cave. Wow. That is pretty dope. Kind of like Mystic Beach back home, but way more tropical. This is a fun little walk. Man, I didn't even know it was over here. This is sweet. I can't stay too long, too, because the tide's coming up and I need my way back. kind of the end of the trip. Uh, it's astounding how much plastic there is that's uh, washed up on the shore. I uh, certainly don't see that kind of thing back in the northern waters of BC, but that's a global thing. Uh, it's just kind of eye-opening to see it. Uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know, it just seems everywhere everywhere sort of feel like picking a few things up but it's kind of like I don't know <laughs> I gotta look into it gotta look into it anyway I'm gonna walk back while I still can made it just in time through that high tide area so that was good intuition. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, the plastic. Uh, there is a crap load of it down there compared to what I normally see back home. It might have something to do with the density of people living in this region of the world compared to where I'm from. Uh, for example, Vancouver Island has got a population of 800 and I believe 
let's say 850, maybe it's 830,000 people, or maybe it's 800, it's under 900,000 people on Vancouver Island. And Bali, just as one province of Indonesia, which is an island, you can fit 5.5 of these in Vancouver Island, still have a little space left over, but the population on this island is 4.37 million people. So that's a big, big difference. Anyway, that's, I don't know if it's coming from here, if it's coming from other areas that are nearby. I'm sure a lot of that stuff just kind of moves through the ocean. We've heard a lot of stories about this sort of thing going on on a global level and there's big garbage patches out there in the ocean that are just floating along. And um, Anyway, uh, it's, it's uh, giving me something to think about. Uh, I didn't feel appropriate to pick up a few pieces down there without having a plan. Um, and if I do do anything like that, I'd rather kind of put like a, a, a much bigger effort into it. Like organizing a beach cleanup or getting involved in a local beach cleanup here. I'm sure somebody's doing that. My main reason here is to see my daughter, but if I have time, it might be a way to get involved a little bit, give back, because it's, it's quite beautiful. It's really, really nice landscapes down that beach were amazing and seeing all the stuff in the tide pools was really cool um be nice to see those environments in a little bit more pristine condition but uh, this is the this is the season of plastic right now anyway that's it guys i'm gonna sign off uh feel free to comment on any of that stuff i hope you enjoyed this little walk down by the beach with me uh, it was pretty cool to explore that area for the first time, and uh, I'm going to get on with my day. We'll see you later. Bye for now. I just uh, used the GoJack app for the first time, ordering dinner. I ordered a club sandwich, um, a croissant, and a tomato soup. He's on the way. Look at that. Far out, man. The little dude on the scooter there, moving along. Okay, have a good night. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. And that's a big club sandwich, holy cow. Finally caught up to me. <laughs> I got diarrhea. <laughs> Bolly belly as they call it. So I've been trying to drink down a cup. This is my second coconut for the day. Uh, just to try to get some of my electrolytes back. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you need to know that, but some of you guys probably figured I might get it on this trip and now I got it. So I've been not venturing too far away from the toilet. <laughs> That's awesome.